Thermoelectric Generators by Braden Shepard, Trevor Christie, and Trent Marshall. Thermoelectric generators, how do they work? A thermoelectric generator, TEG, utilizes the Seedbeck effect to generate power. The phenomenon is the result of a temperature difference across two different types of electrically conductive metals. If voltage is applied directly to the TEG, it can either heat up or cool down depending on the application. TEGs are used in many different devices, from powering deep space probes as pictured in the title slide, to refrigerators, heaters, and power generating devices. Internal Combustion Engines ICE, convert chemical energies into mechanical energy, but much of the chemical energy is lost as waste heat. This presents an opportunity to capture some of that energy using a TEG. The ideal mounting location is attached to the catalytic converter, as this exhaust component is close to the headers to minimize radiative heat loss while also being exposed to air on the underside of the car. This air current is crucial for temperature differences between hot exhaust component and relatively cool air. For the purpose of the project, the TEG is mounted to the radiator. While this is less than ideal, it still allows waste heat from the engine and the coolant to be captured and be exposed to fresh air. This mounting location was chosen due to the temperature requirements of the available TEG not being able to withstand the exhaust heat. How much power could theoretically be generated? From the two equations that we used above, we found out that we could produce a total of 610 watts. Since this is forced convective heat transfer across the surface, that means that there was uh, 610 watts that could possibly be captured by the TEG. Now 250 was used for H as it is the maximum heat transfer coefficient for forced convection. What were our results? A measured voltage, average of 1.54 volts, average amperage of 124 milliamps, meaning that we got a result of 0 0.19096 watts of power that were generated. This is obviously much lower than the power given off in the area. This is because TEGs, especially ones used primarily for heating and cooling as the ones used, are incredibly inefficient. In order to, t to make this as efficient as possible, it would have to be moved to the exhaust configuration. Also, several TEGs wired in series would be ideal to generate as much power as possible. This has the potential to save enormous amounts of fuel if vehicles, particularly hybrid vehicles, could use this type of technology. The technology is being aggressively pursued by automotive manufacturers as pictured into the left slide. Here are our sources for your viewing pleasure. Thank you.